The numbers. We will be uh, a strong part of the new government. So it's a, it's a person, they've got long scruffy hair. What have they got? They're smoking. And that means that more of our policy will get through and they have to negotiate it with us if they want to be in government themselves. Has it become more or less intense since the, the, the Labour Green, you know, MOU? Has that made it less Would... stressful? Uh, no. <laughs> Why do they have to negotiate with you? Because I mean, they can't govern alone. They can't govern alone, and yet a lot of their policies you will agree. I mean, you're going to have to compromise, aren't you? Oh, yes, and so will they. You're doing great, but just try a little. <laughs> Is it a green oh, member? Oh, oh, oh. Is it a Russell Norman now? Yes. Uh, let's talk about compromise. Um, as spokesperson for inequality, you know uh, that sometimes partially implementing an economic policy can be disastrous and achieve the exact opposite effect of implementing the entire economic policy. Uh, is there a chance that compromising with Labour will lead to uh, policy implementations like that? It's a hippie. He's got long hair and he has no shoes and he has a guitar. That's my So I was, I was close, eh? <laughs> it will lead to policy that we won't be 100% happy with, Yeah. but they will be implementing policy of ours that they won't be 100% happy with, and that is what compromise is all about. Sorry, nice. just... Yeah, this doesn't feel right. Matilda, <laughs> today!